Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to show you a cheap way to get an Unreal Engine 5 VTuber working with body animation and finger animation data. So the gear we're going to be using today is the Sony Mukopi, which is about $495, and the Stretch Sense Studio Gloves. This is the new one, which is $795. That being said, Let's get to it. So I'm already here in Unreal Engine 5. Now to get everything going, all you have to do is install the two plugins, which I've made tutorials about. Check out the link in the description below and in the top right corner here. Basically, we just need to download the files, the folder, and copy and paste it into our Unreal Engine project. That's all you got to do. After that, you open up the Unreal Engine 5 project and go to Edit Plugins, just making sure that you have both of them enabled already. If you copy and paste it, it's already be enabled. So I'll go right here and type in Makopi. Right here is turned on and hand engine as well, which is what the strange sets is using. So I have both of them already set up and I have the Sony Makopi already. I'm wearing it right now. I already calibrated it. Again, watch the video on how to get all that set up because I'm just mainly talking about the Unreal Engine 5 integration that Stretch Sense worked out. It's pretty nice. All right, so next step, we're going to go to our plugins folder. I'm going to control space bar to get that content browser up. And I'm going to the plugins folder here. If you don't see this, go to the right side and you're going to enable and then enable show plugin content. So you see this here. I'm going to untick level. And what we're going to see here, we have the folder called hand engine live link content. All right, again, because the plugins are already enabled, I'm going to double click this and voila. This is what Stretch Sense did. And I honestly, it's huge kudos for them. Now, because whenever I get presented a product, the first question I ask is how's the workflow? If it doesn't make sense, I ignore. I just say, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. It's too complicated. But this is the beauty of this. They're releasing a cheap gloves and they're making it super easy for us to use. So now, as you can see right here, we have a couple of pre-made blueprints. You don't have to do anything. You have a hand engine remap with Makopi example, hand engine rig with Makopi example. So I have the Sony Makopi right now and I am just going to drag and drop this into our scene, a little typos happening right now. And on my phone, I'm going to recalibrate real quick because you all know Sony Makopi kind of likes to drift a lot. So I'm going to reset this right now and I'm just going to stand real quick. All right. So that one's good to go. And let's see here. What I'll do is I'm going to turn on the streaming now on my Sony Makopi. So it's going to be streaming data. Next, we'll go to Windows Virtual Production Live Link. And I'm going to add a source. In the Makopi Live Link, I'm just going to say create Makopi source. I don't have to do anything. This is going to snap in my position right now, which I'm sitting down, which makes sense. I'll press E and I will rotate our character right here. Now I'm seeing some bloom happening around him. So let me turn that off. Show flag bloom. And here we go. Here is our body animation for $495. We have six sensors, six sensors. That's it. All right. I'm sitting down again. Perfect for VTuber. Now what I'm going to do next is go again to source in live link, go to hand engine and just press OK. Because hand engine is already running, it's already streaming data. And as you can see, just like that, we already have body and hand animation data. So I have a camera in here, I believe. Yeah, right here, cinema camera actor one. And I'll press escape. All right. So I have this right now. And again, this is more for like a VTuber scenario. If you have like a YouTuber or whatever and you're trying to do body and finger tracking. Additionally, if you add a JS Films Mocap helmet to this for $249, for less than an iPhone 15 or 14, you have body, face, and finger tracking for VTubing. Now, this is only a 495 Sony Makopi, so don't expect it to look like freaking X Sense. The way I think about Sony Makopi is kind of like a point and shoot camera. So don't expect it to be like high quality like the X Sense. That's more like a cinema camera, if you will. But for things like this, for sitting down and saying, hey, I'm a VTuber, oh, ice cream so good, then this will definitely work, all right? So we have some finger in there. We can get some thumbs up in there. And additionally, again, big kudos to Stretch Sense. I actually just followed their tutorial on their website to do this, which is super good. It's very good when you can replicate something like this by just reading four or five steps. So again, that's that's very nice. Additionally, since I use X Sense a lot more than the Sony Makopi, what I would like to see is a blueprint for a metahuman in Unreal Engine 5, similar to what they did here with the Sony Makopi skeleton. We'll be able to just drag and drop. Because honestly, I know some of y'all are messaging me because you purchased this gloves with a metahuman. So I'm hoping that we would get a drag and drop blueprint as well, similar to what they did with a Sony Makopi. Because again, I use XNs 
a lot more than Sony Makovi because this to me is kind of like a toy mocap. It's not really like professional grade. So with that being said, what I'm going to do right now is show you the website so I can explain you the difference. All right. Because I know some of y'all are a little bit confused with this new offering from Stress Sense. And then on the web page, you're going to see we have three different gloves. We have the Pro Fidelity, which is their top high end. We have the Pro Studio and we have the Studio. Now, this right here and this right here, as far as the gloves themselves, are the same exact thing. The only difference is if you get the Pro Studio glove, you're able to use it with XSense or any other software that you want to use it with. If you buy the $795 Studio only, you are going to be able to stream directly to Unreal and it says Unity plugins only. So kind of like what I showed you in this video right here, you can stream. Now, the beauty about this is, this is a super cool offering here. Let's say, you know, you got the studio $795 and you're playing around with it and suddenly you're starting to get gigs and freelancing stuff for Unreal Engine. You're like, you know what? I kind of want to take this a little bit seriously. You can actually get the Pro Studio without having to pay that $795 again. You can just get, say, hey, I want to upgrade my gloves to the Pro Studio and you don't have to pay $2,745. You, you already paid $795 and basically what they're going to do is just going to give you a license or some sort so that you can use your gloves with the XN software, which is again, freaking amazing. One of the cool things that I talked to him about this and I had to kind of make sure I'm like, bro, you're selling the gloves for $795, but I can technically record that hand animation in Unreal Engine 5 or 4. Is that okay? And they're like, yeah, absolutely. That's fine. I was like, all right. That's that's freaking crazy. So technically, it's not just about live streaming into Unreal because you can record the hand animation with a take recorder. So that's a little hack. They are aware of that and they are okay with that. But, but that's pretty much it for this video, y'all. I just want to showcase to you pretty much the cheapest way to get a VTuber running in Unreal Engine. Till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.